Mic check, mic check, mic check. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Shady Mike Gaming, and I am not editing that out. Uh, welcome to another modding tutorial. Today, we are going to be talking about the global file, the all important global file. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, pre recorded content. Uh, you may be watching this before Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving. It, could even be after Thanksgiving, uh, but uh, whenever you're watching this, whenever I decide to post it, um, I hope you have or have already had a happy Thanksgiving. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the global file. And one question I get, I, I showcase a lot of globals in my, you know, mod showcases. And one question I get all the time is, well, I want to use, a, you know, two globals. I want to use features from one and features from another. Today we're going to be talking about how to combine global files and use, you know, different features from different globals. Um, it is nowhere near as complicated as you may think, but it is something that I get asked a whole bunch to do or show how to do. I already do it myself. I mean, I wanted to just kind of explain this for everybody just to show how I do it. Now, there is no right way to do this. You're, you you got to find whatever works for you, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through exactly what I do. So I, I am aware that my I'm in 1440p, so I don't know how small everything is. I do apologize if it's kind of hard to see. Um, but uh, basically, I have a net mod here that shortens the net, makes the net short and kind of squashed in because I noticed NBA nets are like pretty short, actually not as long as the default 2Ks a lot, you know, it depends on stadium. Um, I have a global from Billows. I have a custom global that's unreleased and someone sent me uh, for uh, sweat. Shout out Anderson on that. You're a real one for that. And then I have the Stone 2K Global 1.0. Um, so I'm gonna, um, what I wanna do is the, let me open up Chrome here. Uh, Billows Global covers, as you can see a whole lot, covers sweat, covers headbands, muscle, eyes, muscle you know body type stuff like that cool really cool stone 2k has the very exaggerated you know crazy muscle tones and the, the crazy you know muscles so um what i want to do is i want to use the headbands from billows uh, pretty much billows covers the most so i'm going to use billows as a base um, and I want the muscle from Stone 2K to get that exaggerated Super Saiyan muscle type look. Um, I think I'm going to use his eyes as well. Um, and then obviously the global from Anderson, I want to use his sweat and then, you know, we're going to add the net onto it. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be creating my own custom global. Um, you can watch it and learn how to do it. So you can do it uh, for you know yourself or you can, um, what I'm going to do is I will uh, link um, our discord because I'm going to be posting. Um, well, once I'm done doing this, I'm going to post the global, you know, which is pretty much this little mashup here um, in our, uh, you know, top mod section of the discord so or you know must have mods i think we call it in there so um it's up to you you can kind of watch and learn and you know combine whatever other globals you want or you can just get this one after we're done with it but we're going to do it live um hopefully it doesn't take too long but uh let's get right into it the way that i like to do it and you're going to see how simple this is so the way i like to do it is right i'm going to get a folder make a new folder over here open this up and I'm gonna take the first one. So let's take Billows Global. And I'm not using the male skin file because I have one uh, from a different mod. So I will leave that here. So we're gonna call this one Global. Billows Global. Um, this is Anderson's joint. Right, let me make a copy of that because I don't know if I have another copy just to be super sure. There we go. I'm going to paste that over. Anderson Global. And this one right here is going to be Stones. Just so we can know what we're editing, right? All right, boom. So, oh, I did not mean to do what I just did. All right, there we go. So Stones Global, Billows, and then Anderson. Um, and then we have the net mod. We'll do that later. That's literally the easiest part. Um, maybe I can make this bigger so it'll be easier to see. I don't know if that'll help. 
But um, okay, so like I said, we're gonna use Billows Global as the base. So let's go ahead and get this open, right? I'm gonna move that here. We're gonna open Anderson's Global. That. And let's go ahead and open Stones as well. All right, so it's kinda, you're not shrinking, there we go side by side so that we can see what we're doing i hope you guys can see this i'm super sorry if you can't and i feel like you can't but me explaining it will you know get where we need to go here so it is super simple and uh, we do need to make these a tad bit wider so that we can actually see what we're doing and what we're looking at maybe i should have stacked them the other way i don't know <laughs> they do kind of need to be wide all right so it's literally this is billows global right here all you do is you go into whatever global you're looking at so right now we have anderson and sorted by modified recent so look at his global you'll see 11 3 2020 11 3 2020 11 3 2020 9 11 2020 and then february 2020 before the game's even out so we know that the files that Anderson edited were one, two, and three, the sweat. So we're taking the sweat from this global, literally just drag it, hit okay. That one's done, right? Now we have stones, do the same exact thing, modified sort. Look at his, now you notice, remember he had, let me make it a little bit wider. He had eyes, 922, 922, 921, 910, the chest. And then look, he goes to October. So we know this is all that he edited, right? I'm gonna drag that in, hit okay easy like this is super easy that's why i said like i knew and then we have the net model this is the short net model from uh um from michael vlutz shout out to him he's one of the best ever um the short net model i'm gonna drag this into billows global boom okay and exit out of everything we're done so we're gonna go back to this folder we got billows global here we obviously have to rename it to global so that once we put it in our modded folder, um, you know, it is an actual folder that 2K will recognize. And what I want to do is we're going to go into 2K21, our modded folder. Mine's right here. We're going to go ahead and drag the global right there. And I'm also really quickly going to grab Giannis, his modded uh, body type by Los Josh so that we can get a, a mod here that really showcases what we need to see. All right, so we got that done. We now have the global um, in there. So we're gonna go ahead and open up NBA 2K21. I think I have it in Windows mode, windowed mode. So yeah, it's just gonna be here in small. Bucks, look at Giannis. This dude's muscle, Super Saiyan 2 at least. You know what I mean? My dude is super diesel. Like, and again, that might not be your style, but here we go, right? We're gonna go to Tobias Harris. Look at his headband texture. That's the headband texture from Billows. You know what I'm saying? And then, Really quick. Load this up. Look at the net model. Just this, you know, little short, short net that a lot of teams use these days. We just on camera really quickly 
combine three global files. No, I didn't edit anything. This is, I one take this whole thing. So that's it. Super simple, um, but something you really need to know because there's a lot of globals. Like some of the globals do sound. Some of them do, you know, obviously body type, sweat. Obviously, there's no way to showcase sweat, but we did it. We know it works because uh, everything else works. But that is one simple way to combine multiple uh, global files and, uh, you know, get the best of both worlds for everything. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Hopefully that, you know, cleared that up. It is definitely a valuable tool to uh, have, um, you know, going forward. Like I said, if you don't feel like going through this and this is the global that we just put together that you want, um, join the 2K Modding Society. That's our modding discord. Um, if you need help installing mods or doing anything like this, um, you know, we got a whole bunch of different threads open there. I will go ahead and post this uh, global in there. We just hit 2000 members, so I'm super hype about that. I really want to uh, keep, um, you know, growing that up. Uh, what else? If you guys want to connect with me, make sure you hit me on my socials, um, Twitter, Instagram are the places that I'm the most active. Um, and the other thing that I've been pushing a lot too, um, I do get a lot of questions in the comments about my instrumentals and things of that nature. After I make a YouTube video, nine times out of 10, I do post the instrumental on my second channel. Um, shady plays go over there hit subscribe like on all that good stuff you'll be you'll be able to see that type of stuff too but uh, other than that guys shady mike happy holidays i'm out peace threes